How's it going guys? We know the next update that's coming to Horizon 5 just next week is Horizon Cars and Coffee. We're going to take a bit of a sneak look at this update today, have a look at the clues we have and try and figure out what's going to be part of this update. The cars, the clothing, the coffee shop location, everything. Let's have a look at the clues we've got, see if we can figure out what's coming next week. Very quickly before we do, here are the five winners of the latest car pack giveaway, the Universal Icons. They've all been messaged on Xbox. If none of them are redeemed the code, I will pick more people so keep commenting your gamer tag and make sure you're subscribed you'll always be within a chance of winning the latest car pack so let's take a look at this splash screen page horizon cars and coffee now the first thing we're going to focus on is the coffee shop location this can mean various things now something to take note of when we're thinking about what this is going to be is having a look at what they said in the live stream of the previous update when they teased this sneak peek of what's coming next month as we usually do because i hear it's going to be a pretty special one is that right jen uh yeah definitely so uh hopefully our players will perk up for the uh Christ. sorry <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, apologies everyone. Um, <laughs> for the Horizon Cars and Coffee uh, coming on July 18th. Um, we've got the uh, coffee shop location, which is a new evolving world. Now the key thing to note is they obviously say it is a evolving world coffee shop location. It also says evolving world in the blog as well. Now this was probably presumed. I've seen a few people say that this is gonna be a new permanent location on the map. Maybe they're expanding the map. I don't think that's the case. This is going to be an evolving world coffee shop, which means that it's probably only going to be in the map for this next update, which is a shame because for what it sounds like it's going to be a coffee shop location, it sounds like something that could be quite good. And I'm talking about if you take a look at what real life cars and coffee events and locations are like, they're usually pretty damn nice, really. It's usually a car meet. That's kind of what this is going to be, I feel like. Yes, it says it's a coffee shop location, but part of the experience of a cars and coffee event or a coffee shop cars event in real life is always that it's kind of a car meet. So that's kind of what I presume we're going to get. We're going to get a coffee shop location somewhere on the map, hopefully near a car park. Maybe it includes a car park. To me, that's part of the experience of cars and coffee. I don't know exactly how the coffee shop itself is going to work, but I just hope it comes with some kind of car park, some kind of meat area, which is the whole point of it, really, in my opinion. Car meat locations and car meat stuff has always kind of been lacking for Forza Horizon 5 and quite a few past Horizon games. It'd be nice to see something like that permanent. So, yeah. Now, new cars is always the interesting one, and it's always difficult to guess what cars are coming. Playground games do have a tendency to keep the cars around the same theme as to what the series is about. So Horizon Cars and Coffee is the theme. What cars can relate to this? Well, I would say quite interesting cars. You do quite often see supercars and hypercars and flashy cars appear at Cars and Coffee meet events. And it wouldn't surprise me if that's the theme they follow. Everyone's obviously mentioning the Maserati MC20 that we're still waiting for. I'm sick of talking about that. A very valid point that someone has mentioned is there are a lot of cars out there that do have a coffee themed name. And what better update to add these to the game than Horizon Cars and Coffee? So what coffee themed cars do we have? We've got the Suzuki Cappuccino. We've got the Suzuki Espresso and the Way Mocha. The interesting thing about the Way Mocha is it's from China. It's a kind of... We've had a lot of these type of cars added to Horizon 5 lately, and I think it fits that kind of quite nicely. So I don't know, we can add it to the possible list. It's coffee related car names, you never know. Maybe they've gone that route, maybe they haven't. Even if they haven't, I think we can probably expect some quite nice cars in this update. It only makes sense to have nice cars with a cars and coffee update. It's all about, the word cars is in the theme. You know, it's part of it. So I've got high hopes for it. We've also got car packs being a potential. Car packs are pretty regular nowadays. Wouldn't surprise me if we get a car pack in this update as well. Maybe it will be a, I don't know, it could be anything really, it could be anything good. Donut media is still a topic that people bringing up, especially for this update, as we, we don't know if we're gonna get a Donut Media Part 3 update. I spoke about this in my, one of my previous videos about what's going on with Donut Media lately. But we know that there are still some Donut Media cars that we were promised, but we've still not got. More specifically, the Money Pit cars and the High Truck and the Low Truck. Now, are we gonna get them with a Donut Media update or a Donut Media car pack? I'm not sure. I would say that this update is a possible contender for a Donut Media car pack. 
just because the word donut, donuts and coffee fits the bill quite nicely and with everything that's been happening with donut media lately, it's possible, I don't know, I don't know if it's going to happen, adding some donuts to it just fits quite nicely. So of course we can always look back at the leaked car list, any car meat cars i mean this is such a generic theme i think anything is possible from this list the recent leaks are still sort of questioned whenever there's a new leak we always keep a close eye on it for just a few months and if we don't hear anything else about it after a few months then it kind of just gets added to the list and forgotten about i think there's still a few recent leaks that are still recent enough to consider for this update and they were actually leaked around the same time as the coffee badges that we'll touch on in a second i'm of course talking about the s5s raptor that that was spotted within a TikTok and the Hennessy Venom 1200 that was accidentally said to be in Horizon 5. Those are the most recent car leaks. Of course, they're possible for this update. What else is coming in this update? New collectible. This is usually something completely random, something coffee related. I don't know. Probably going to be at the coffee lot location, I would guess. And then new clothing as well. It's probably going to be cars and coffee related clothing, car meat related clothing. There are a few big locations around the UK. Caffeine and Machine is one of them. It's known for being a sort of pub coffee shop location for car meets and they have a little merch store so that's fairly normal they're really i think they're focusing quite heavily on this coffee lot show coffee shop location being a event slash show i really hope and we've got the previous leaks as well these were leaked uh, several weeks ago now i think in series 34 um, these two badges here, these are what we can only presume are player badges, you know, like what you can see on screen right now, we can have it sort of next to your name in the top left. These were, these were leaked. So these are probably going to be part of the update as well. I don't know if this has anything to do with the collectible. I don't know what challenge you're going to have to do to unlock these, but they're probably going to be a part of it. Every update, we get a challenge to collect all of the cards within that update and you get a badge. Maybe this badge is one of the rewards for that. If I was to take any other guesses, there will be challenges related to the coffee shop location, like take a photo there, for example, like they usually do in the festival playlist. So we know we're getting two badges. We just don't know what they're for yet. I just really hope that Playground Games have tried their best to make this coffee lot location actually exciting and not just a pop-up shop somewhere with a few with a bit of mud and some car spaces i hope they've gone a little bit all out made it a nice big area plenty of parking spaces plenty of challenges to do these are the types of updates that i feel like forza horizon 5 needs this is what forza horizon is about cruising with your mates going to a car meet taking some photos that's what horizon's all about for me so I really hope this update is good. They've got a big opportunity to make it good. Let's hope they follow it. If it's got some amazing cars in it as well, then it's got to be good, surely. Just make sure, though, if you do go to the coffee shop location, keep an eye out for the Mustangs. You know what Mustangs are like around car meets. Watch you out. Watch you back. That's pretty much it, guys. Of course, there'll be a video released by me on the day that this update is announced. I'll go through everything you need to know about the entire update as per usual. Leave a like if you enjoyed, everyone. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you all later.